Welcome to another um, exciting screen recording. So I just went ahead and I did my heart map project, um, my thinking maps. As you can see, I wrote them in my journal. Um, where's my other thinking map? I know it's here. I think it's in my downloads. Hold, please. So new. So if I go to new folder, if I go to download. I just did these thinking maps and, I, and I've and i been doing my fire rites and I kind of have a sense of um, some images that I want to collect um, for um, my, um, my um, heart map. Sorry, it's getting, I'm getting tired over here. So pretend I'm just keeping my thinking maps over here to the side. I'm going to make them kind of small. Okay, so you would kind of have your journal open. Hey. So again, I'm going to, so you just kind of have your journal open. I'm doing something different. I am going to downloads and I'm looking at the screenshots because I kind of demoed them for you. So I'm going to open both of those. And those are just kind of like reference points of my different thinking maps that I was thinking about. And I'm going to also look at my fire rights. I'm going to look at what I've been writing before class. And I'm going to start to think like, what really is in my heart? Ooh, my advisory. I should definitely include them. So I'm going to have that for an image. New folder. Heart. Heart map imagery. And as you can see, like if you look at the assignment that I posted on Google Classroom, um, right here, heart map project. Heart map. Where is it? Where is it? Heart map rubric. Write your name here. So this is the heart map project I posted and I gave you guys this little template and this template actually um, matches all of our fire rights. So I'm going to look at the template and I have my folders right here, heart map imagery. And um, as you can see on the left, I have folders and you get like, I think control new to make a new folder. I'm going to make new folders that kind of match what the rubric is asking. So deep thoughts, um, new folder, my favorite things, favorite things, um, new folder, emotions, um, new folder, um, important memories and people. And yes, I already did my heart map. I did it already, um, but I did that like 12 years ago, right? So um, here we go. Um, I'm going to start looking and then how we use this as a chance to grow. So positive thoughts, I'll do one for positive thoughts, positive thoughts, um, um, or Maybe I'll call this folder, how will I grow in art and drama? I'm just kind of like thinking about, you know, different things that I'm going to do that I'm going to write about. Um, one is deep thoughts, important memories, people, deep thoughts. And I see right here on the uh, graphic organizer right here, truth. So I want to be honest in my heart from that too. So I got favorite things, truth, emotions. Important memories, people, oh, I see experiences. So I'm just changing my folders. And I'm going through the thinking process. So you guys should be doing that right now. You should be going through the thinking process of creating your different folders. How will I grow? And I have all these different things. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to just model how you use Google Image, which is just this fabulous thing, especially for artists google.com and go to images you always click images up there and you just start looking for stuff that you're going to include in your heart map and then I'm going to put all these folders inside of there and then I can use this to start to create my heart map so let's see um, I'm stuck right that's why I go back to my thinking map Right, that's why you gotta have those things. That's why we did that. Okay, so I gotta find a picture of my mom. 
and I just start to search. Okay, so art. Art's important to me, so I just start kind of basic. Um, art and drama, favorite things. Art. Um, the color green, or how about like Michigan? You know, and you can go through your full, full your photos too. Oh, I think that's Chicago. Chicago is very important to me. I love the color. I love the color with water. Um, and you just start to grab things. But remember, you got to be ready to explain why these things are important to you. So as you can see, you can just hold something and drag it directly into your folder. Right? So deep thoughts. Um, can... Um, can I help people? You can like get as specific as you can. Like, can I help people? And it, Google image will come up with these things and they will resonate with what's in your heart. Like this need to kind of like work together, you know? Um, and you know, sometimes the image won't like save, right? Like look at this. right? It's not saving. So sometimes you're going to have to take a screenshot. You want to do a screenshot right there. And then um, you can use that screenshot. Let's go ahead and put it in the folder. So how will I grow? Favorite things, deep thoughts, truth. And this is how you do a screenshot. How do you do a screenshot? How do you screenshot on a Chromebook? So take a screenshot of the entire screen using control plus the show windows key combination. How to take a screenshot. Um, so this button, control and show windows key combination to show the window key which looks like a rectangle. I don't know if that's a Chromebook, but I want everyone like to make sure that they know how to do that. How to take a scrum screenshot on a Chromebook. Let's see. No matter where you are, with Grammarly on your computer and phone. So I'm modeling like, like if I don't know how to do something with tech, land the job with a cover letter you got a, why am I not skipping me yet? Why don't you guys tell me? Okay, there are Chromebooks. Here's how. Control that window key. The image will save to your downloads folder. That's just a portion of the screen. Control, shift. The cursor will temporarily turn into a crosshair. And then you can drag. So I didn't get that. So it's control. Let's go back. Control, shift, and the window button. And then you go ahead and you drag it. Okay? So we're definitely going to save this to let's see productivity right there you guys should make folders up here it's great save that link so you know um, but again control shift and then you see then i have that cursor so just in case so just like quick side note while you're researching on google image then you know there's stuff there um one thing that I didn't include in that little heart map is your beliefs. And this is an image that represents one of my beliefs. You know, art's not about process, it's about the product. Talked about it to you guys in class the other day. So I'm gonna include that, that's Ai Weiwei. And you just keep going. Um, like, try like to only be with favorite things for so long, like coffee, you know, I mean, gosh, we could do favorite things forever. But you wanna go deep. You know, so emotions, like maybe sometimes you get angry. Like I know in COVID right now, I've been getting very angry, angry images. 
and we see what's coming up. You know, maybe you're a bit of a hothead. So I'm gonna like put that in my heart map. Ooh, I'm still recording. This is two gigabytes, guys. My computer's gonna die. Um, I'm a very happy person. Happy. You know, I how about I believe in being happy? Like that's really important to me. And that's in my heart. Like I need to be happy. I need to be in the lake, even though I get angry sometimes. Um and maybe like memories have something to do with your emotions. So you gotta go deeper and you gotta find people. People that are really important to you. And you just keep finding things. Um, you can go ahead, you can look through your photos and your phone and you can start to organize folders. So once you've done all of this, right, then you can start to organize, you know, what you're gonna put in your heart map assignment. And you would just, let me show you, like you would just drag things over like this. And your proving behavior for today is to really organize different Google folders for your research. I want you to show me, or kind of like having a tech day, that you can organize different folders. So once you filled all of these, so we got deep th thoughts, emotions, how you will grow, beliefs. Um, once you've filmed or filled all of these up, I want you to put like five images in each. Five images in each. I want you to create a Google folder. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. So if you haven't done so already, I would really make a folder in your drive that's labeled for your work for my class so you don't get organized. So you... Um, right click and you click new folder okay click create new folder and then within that folder you should be able to drag uh, images directly over into the folder so in order to get all of my pictures I went ahead and I right clicked and I select all and I move them over and then all the uploads are there, and then all my, my folders are there. Um, my pictures, my screenshots, oops, oops. So I want you to, now I'm, now I'm totally disorganized, now I'm lost, deep thoughts. Oh, I gotta go back, uh, kit back. So you, I want you to like create a folder, and I want you to rename it, um, heart map images. And, you know, once they're in here, then you could find them. Other ways you can find images on Google Slides, at least students were telling me, is you can highlight something. Maybe you find a quote. You know, there are many reasons to be happy. So right-click on that, click Copy Image, and let's see if it works. So i got to go back to my folder, where my folder go. And you're going to turn this folder in today of images. So here we go. It won't let me paste more. I don't know like how you can, you guys gotta tell me if this works on a Chromebook. Can you drag images directly over? So can you open another window? Like here's my image file, new window. Okay, so two windows. And can you have okay? Can you drag it directly over? That's what I want to know. Can you drag it directly over, or do you have to drag it to your desktop? Copy image. I don't think, like, I think you need to do that, huh? So that's interesting. Let's see. How do you um, copy an image and put it in a Google folder? Click insert image. Choose where to get your image. Choose an image or take a snapshot. Click insert, open, select. How do I move photos into a folder in Google Drive? 
How do you send copy of a photos to Google Drive folder? I should, 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 should. With the new changes to photos in Google Drive, you'll be able to make Google Photos accessible. Huh. So I think there are easy, easier ways to like insert an image, right? Like you could go here. I think you could go insert image. You can upload from a computer, insert image, or you can, you know, insert directly from your drive, right? So I could go into my drive. So I think you have to like drag to your desktop, but I can find stuff and I can start to organize my heart map. So important memories, important people would select that and move, oops. I would move this to the side, right? And that's kind of like part of my heart. So I would put that there, they're my advisory. So I'm just kind of like exploring like ways that we could go ahead and make a collage. I don't know, let's see, can I copy this? Copy image, can I paste directly onto slides? Paste. Yeah, I mean, you may just wanna do that and have two images open and kind of copy and paste. So there are many reasons to be happy. And you just keep adding on, add on um, images, right? That are part of your heart map. So you could go directly to your Google Drive. So insert, again, so once again, you go insert, and you go to image and then you go from your drive, or you can just search the computer, search the web. Let's see what happens. Wow, it takes you directly to Google Images. So you don't necessarily need to like make folders, but I do want you to explore making it. Um, and then I want you to share that link with me of the different folders that you made. Okay. So search images, um, deep thoughts, so worries, maybe like are things I worry about, sheep, dog, worries. And then you can kind of like create, um, maybe you have anxiety about things and you want to open up about that. Look at that. So you can go ahead and look. You can't see as much when you're inserting the image. Does it let me drag it right in? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, so if you just click that, then you're gonna go ahead and you will insert the images. So deep thoughts, right? And you can also insert text too, you know, for this heart map. So you could click insert text box, you know, I worry about my mom. I hope she is okay. And I could put a picture of her in there. But what I want is I want there to be no empty space. And you you can draw all this stuff out too. Okay? And then you could also insert pictures. Um, you can upload pictures from your Google Drive, from your phone. You could go to your phone and you can create an album on your phone. So there are a lot of things you can do. So good luck with this heart map project.